A mask mandate is now in effect in Duval County. It officially started at 5 o'clock this evening, and just within the past 15 minutes, the city has changed the age requirement. So here's what you need to know. Masks are required indoors where you cannot socially distance and anyone over the age of six years old. Originally, that was two years old. Now it's six years old must wear a mask. The beaches cities are included in this mask mandate, but if you don't have to wear a mask, if you have breathing problems as the only exception. News for Jack's reporters Vic Michelucci, Jim Piggott, and Scott Johnson, they're all covering the city's response to the pandemic, but we begin with News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott in the latest. Jim? You know, I'm over here in Riverside. Let me show you, there's been a lot of confusion about the mask ordinance that just went into effect an hour ago. Now, businesses really have something to fall back on. I'm in front of the UPS store. Look at this. Effective. 6-9-2020. You had to have a mask to come in here. That wasn't there before. I'm going to show you some of the other stores around here as well. Here at Starbucks, I was talking to them, and they were telling me, well, yeah, if you're going to come inside the restaurant here, you got to have a mask. If you don't, well, they'll kind of supply one. Same thing here. Um, yeah, Tijuana Flats, take a look. Guests are required now to wear a mask. Thank you. And then unless you're sitting at a table, that's some of the uh, things on that. But I think the real thing that people want to know is over here, that's at the grocery stores. We're all going to grocery stores and we're going to show you this Publix down at this end down here. Well, I went in and talked to the manager there right at five o'clock. They started telling the customers, hey, you have to have a mask on to come in here. A lot of people didn't at the time. They supplied some. So this is really what's happening right now. But there are a lot of questions about this whole mask ordeal. We talked with people from all sides of Jacksonville today about the new mandate to wear masks when you can't socially distance. Most saying it's about time. I believe we're moving a little slow so far as the mandate. But uh, as long as it takes, man, I mean, we can't really put a time frame on this particular thing. So uh, we, we, we must stay safe. So uh, kudos to the, to the mayor. But others say it has no teeth. But I also saw that the mayor won't be enforcing, arresting, or citing people that don't. So I feel like you can still do whatever you want. And that's what Mayor Curry has been saying prior to today. This is from a recent press briefing when he was asked about making mask wearing mandatory. We're not going to put additional uh, mandates on people. They can't be enforced. Mayor Curry didn't hold the briefing today. He was out for a family matter. So his staff took the questions about his reversal. Why the sudden turnaround on masks? Uh, the mayor was adamant about that last week, that this is not going to happen. Will there be any enforcement? Also, what effect that will have on the RNC? From the beginning of this, we've been asking people to exercise personal responsibility. Beginning months ago, the mayor began asking people to wear a mask when you're in public and in public spaces. And as for the city's recent adoption of the mask, uh, look, every single day almost, we have conversations with hospital providers and CEOs and other members of our community, and we felt that it was time to take the step. As it relates to the RNC, uh, that event again is months is months away. We'll and while we did see a majority of people wearing masks in public today, some say it could cause some problems down the line. I think that there, I mean, that's a little tricky line when you say that it's getting mandatory. Um, I think that that kind of encroaches on some rights, but um, I think definitely in an enclosed space is wonderful. So this is to something new and enforcement. The police aren't going to come up and ticket you, at least at this point. And that's they are saying is just use common sense. Wear a mask when you're inside, particularly in a crowded area. We're live in Riverside, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. And we've been checking with other local counties to see if their stance on masks has changed. Clay County just announcing it is not mandating, but strongly encouraging face coverings in public. Tomorrow, St. John's County commissioners will meet. And one commissioner told News for Jacks he plans to bring up the mask mandate and possibly propose legislation. As we've been reporting since last week, the city of St. Augustine requires face masks. We'll let you know if any other local counties make any changes as a result.